Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Mysterious Peru Skull The discovery of an ancient Peruvian skull has resulted in a rather peculiar mystery. The skull is weird even by itself. It's elongated so that it looks like the fossilized cranium of an alien visitor from outer space. Although, to be fair, this wasn't weird hundreds of years ago. Peruvians artificially deformed the heads of their children to give their skulls a cone-like shape. This was typically done with bands or with pieces of wood while the child was very young. In the case of this mysterious skull, being elongated isn't even part of the mystery. It has to do with a potential metal implant found embedded in the bone. If it's proven to be real, the metal implant could be one of the first surgical implants in the world. It could also be the trace of a lost technology or a modern-day fake. The skull itself was allegedly found in Peru in early 2022. It was supposedly taken from an unknown archaeological site and then was donated to the Museum of Osteology in Oklahoma City. Because of the vagueness surrounding its origins, archaeologists are already suspicious of the skull's authenticity. Yet it does appear to be a real ancient skull, and it does contain a strange metal implant. The implant was found near a hole that was likely created through a surgical process called trepanation. This is when a hole is drilled into a person's head to alleviate the buildup of pressure. Trepanation was often used to treat medical conditions in the ancient world. John Verano from Louisiana's Tulane University believes somebody put the piece of metal in the skull to make it a more valuable artifact. However, not everyone is so quick to denounce it as a fake. Other scholars like Danielle Curin from the University of California claim the metal implant could be real. It may have been used like a band-aid to try and protect the hole drilled in the individual's skull after he healed from his operation. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. Antarctica's Area 51 There is a mysterious and very secretive government laboratory that's been dubbed the Area 51 of Antarctica. It's called the Arrival Heights Lab, and it's a very real place. This isn't like the potential secret bases uncovered on Google Earth. Arrival Heights is a real lab situated deep in the Antarctic mountains in a region called Area 122. It even has a gigantic disco ball-like globe at its top, making it look like the evil lair of a James Bond villain. Despite being a real scientific laboratory, Arrival Heights is the source of a lot of conspiracy theories and rumors. Some say there's aliens being hidden underground in a secret vault. Others say the scientists here are working on stuff we can't even imagine, like next-level technology that you might see in a sci-fi movie. The truth is that we don't know what's being worked on at one of the most mysterious and most remote bases in the world. Arrival Heights has been home to scientists since 1959, and it's only a few miles from the more famous McMurdo Station, occupied by American researchers. Number 8. Dark Matter Dark matter has never technically been discovered. It was only in the 1930s that Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky noticed an unseen substance tugging at distant galaxies using massive gravitational energy. He dubbed the substance dark matter, and ever since, researchers have been dumbfounded. Most scientists agree that dark matter can be found all throughout the universe. It's also six times more abundant than the rest of the matter making up things like stars and planets. But what really is dark matter? The answer is that nobody knows. Some believe it could be the missing mass in the universe. Others think dark matter is a hypothetical particle 100 times heavier than a proton. And yet no human scientist has ever identified, interacted with, or even detected dark matter. And in that way, dark matter has never officially been discovered. Billions of dollars have been put into research to find it, but all that research has turned up nothing. Still, scientists insist dark matter outweighs ordinary matter as the single controlling force organizing everything in the universe. On the flip side, though, there's a small minority of physicists who don't believe in dark matter and think the rest of the scientific community is just chasing their own tail. Number 7. New Nazca Lines Researchers have recently revealed 143 new lines in the Nazca Desert of Peru, adding even more mystery to the already baffling Nazca Lines. 
The researchers are from Yamagata University, and they teamed up with scientists from IBM to use AI technology to help them search for new geoglyphs. They first discovered a small humanoid geoglyph depicting a strange, otherworldly being. The AI scanned satellite images looking for potential unseen geoglyphs, and then the team confirmed the discoveries on foot with their own eyes. They found small representations of animals that were only a few feet long, and other geoglyphs measuring over 300 feet in length. They all date back 2,000 years, depicting all different types of animals and monsters that can be interpreted in a variety of ways. For example, one of the newly discovered geoglyphs appears to be a two-headed snake, which some interpret as a wormhole in space. Another geoglyph is a humanoid with giant eyes, a weirdly shaped head, and what almost looks like an astronaut suit. Scientists have had a difficult enough time trying to explain the Nazca lines, and now there are even more of them to confuse experts. The hard truth here is that nobody knows why the Nazca people carved the images and curious patterns into the desert. We also don't know why they made the images so big that they could only be seen from someone in an aircraft. Many experts have speculated the Nazca were creating the pictures so that interplanetary visitors could easily see them and understand their culture. Others believe it was just artwork for the gods. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below! And now for number 6. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Rich Raz and Ludmila Machado. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you! Number 6. Hidden Chambers A hidden chamber has been revealed inside the Great Pyramid of Giza, and some experts don't know what to think. Scientists used extremely advanced muon detectors to uncover a mysterious 90-foot void inside the 4,500-year-old monument. It was the first major discovery of a new space in the pyramid since the 19th century. However, there might not be anything all that mysterious inside of it. Egyptologist Aidan Dodson from the University of Bristol says the chances of finding a hidden burial or stash treasure within the hidden chamber are close to zero. Wow, way to crush our hopes, Aidan. The Great Pyramid has always been something of an enigma, especially when placed beside other pyramids. Most of the other pyramids of that era were built above subterranean burial chambers. But the pyramid that was built for Pharaoh Khufu, who reigned between 2509 and 2483 BC, contained the burial chamber inside the structure itself. The three known chambers prior to the recent discovery were the King's Chamber, the Queen's Chamber, and a mysterious passageway called the Grand Gallery. But now there appears to be a fourth room. Researchers use muon detectors to track particles produced by cosmic rays moving throughout the pyramid. It basically gave them super X-ray vision, and that was how they saw the void. However, nobody knows what's in the void or why it's there. Some, like Aidan Dodson, believe it was likely just an empty space. But other experts like engineer Colin Reeder believe the void could lead to another secret chamber higher up in the pyramid. Right now, we just don't know what's hiding in there. Number 5. The Klerksdorp Spheres in the small South African town of Ottesdal, workers at a pyrophyllite mine dug up a collection of small rock spheres that have stumped scientists ever since their discovery. The mysterious stones have been dubbed the Klerksdorp spheres, and nobody is entirely sure just what they are. Each one is a dark reddish color, and they are less than an inch across. They are also carved with three parallel lines around their equator. If not for the lines, they would almost look like small walnuts. Some suggest that the lines are indisputable proof that these spheres were manufactured. They appear to be the markings left behind by some kind of machine. But here's the crazy part. The round stone objects are 3 billion years old. That was long before humans, dinosaurs, and any other intelligent life lived on the planet. Or so we thought. The spheres are an excellent example of out-of-place artifacts, a term used to describe bizarre relics found under impossible situations that don't make any sense. 
If these spheres really were created by machines three billion years ago, scientists don't have an explanation for how that could be possible. And that's why most scientists agree with the concretion theory. These spheres were likely formed because of the precipitation of volcanic ash and sediment accumulated over billions of years. Concretions aren't very rare in geology. They form naturally all the time and are known to have strange rings around them, just like with the Klerksdorf spheres. Number 4. An Unexplained Glow Scientists with NASA have spotted a mysterious ghostly glow way out in the universe that they can't make sense of. Astronomers analyzed over 200,000 pictures taken from the Hubble Space Telescope. Then they made thousands of measurements in an attempt to locate residual background glow in our night sky. The team wanted to figure out where every point of light that we see is coming from. They looked at planets and stars as well as galaxies, and they even studied the light reflected from space dust. After they accounted for everything, there was a leftover amount of light that they couldn't account for. Researchers call it a ghost light, an ethereal glow that seems to come from nowhere at all, but exists inside our solar system. This weird space discovery has left astronomers scratching their heads. Tim Carlton from Arizona State University says it could be a local phenomenon from the edge of our solar system. He also admitted that it could be a totally new element that's never been identified or measured until now. Either way, scientists have no idea where all the extra light is coming from, or what could possibly be making it. Any theories? Let me know in the comments below! Number 3. The Secret Site of the Knights Templar In the summer of 1742, a workman digging a foundation for a new bench in the town of Royston, England, accidentally uncovered the entrance to a cave. What was discovered deep down in the darkness was almost unbelievable. Because this was the 18th century, long before safety rules, a small boy was given a candle and a length of rope and ordered to investigate. You know, get on in there! He came back with news of shattered jewelry, human bones, and walls engraved with morbid, expressionless figures. Now, 300 years later, Royston Cave is still one of the most mysterious places in Britain. Scientists are no closer today than the boy with the candle was in the 1700s to understanding it. We still don't know who carved the mysterious cave or when it was finished, and we have no idea why it was done at all. But many theories have been created in order to try and explain the Royston Cave. Some believe the cave is at the intersection of two ley lines and that it's a place of great natural power. Another theory is that the cave was carved at the intersection of two ancient roads, one from London to York and the other from Norfolk to Wiltshire. If this were true, the cave could have been used as a religious roadside sanctuary. After all, the images carved on its walls are religious in nature, showing figures like St. Lawrence who was burned to death on a griddle. There are even rumors that the cave was carved by displaced members of the Knights Templar after their order was destroyed. Number 2. The Holy Grail Spanish historians believe they have finally identified the legendary Holy Grail. Margarita Torres and José Ortega del Río spent three years studying a mysterious chalice hidden away in a church in the city of León in Spain. After all their investigating, the pair are confident that the vessel is 2,000 years old and may have once been held in Jesus' own hands. The chalice is stored in the Basilica of St. Isidore, and it's been there since the 11th century. According to ancient medieval Egyptian documents, the Chalice of Christ, as they called it, was stolen from the Christians in Jerusalem and taken to Cairo. More ancient documents show a special cup being transported to Spain, where it eventually found its way into the Basilica. Furthermore, scientific dating suggests that the cup was made sometime between 200 BC and 100 AD, meaning it would have been around during the life of Christ. However, the scientists don't have much to go on except the faintest mentions of the cup in some very old documents. They had to admit that they don't know what happened during the first 400 years of the cup's existence. They also can't prove the chalice ever touched Christ's lips at the Last Supper. This seemingly ordinary-looking cup could be the legendary Holy Grail, 
or it could just be a really old cup. Number one, a deep space explosion. Scientists witnessed an explosion in deep space in 2018, but they can't figure out what caused it. Astronomers were shocked to see an unusually bright glow in the sky that suddenly appeared in a galaxy located 200 million light years away. They say the sky was empty one second, and the next it was suddenly filled with light. The rapid appearance of the light would rule out the burst of energy caused by a supernova and instead suggest an explosion of unprecedented proportions. The event lasted for a full three weeks, suggesting there was a great blast of energy so powerful it continued blowing up for almost a month. But what could have caused such an intense explosion is well beyond the understanding of scientists. Some have speculated that a star could have been ripped apart by a black hole, but that theory was proven incorrect. As of right now, scientists just don't have an explanation for the giant explosion deep in space. Thanks for watching! Would you rather discover a new planet and get to name it, or prove the existence of dark matter? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe! See you next time! Bye!